out of all these combinations, okay, you can make like PEA, you can make AEP, because you need to make stuff like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could make, you, you could do PPP, couldn't you? PPA, there's, there's just too much, there's just too many of them going on for me to be thinking about right now, okay? So what we're thinking first is maybe we do eight letters, choose. Eight letters, choose three. Now, hmm. Eight letters, choose three. Uh, if we use the fraction format here to get PA in that order, three out of eight chance of grabbing a P on the first go. What about the second go for the E? Huh? One over. Seven. Oh, so two over seven. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, there's one E and we lost the letter, so it's one over seven. And then the A, lads. Two over. Six. And what does that answer come out to? One over. Fifty-six. Okay. Now, uh, A choose three. Just interested in A choose three at the moment. Eight C three. Fifty-six. 8 P3 336 Interesting Alright Next one P E A in any order P E A in any order So let's, let's have a look at this uh, I'll get this out P E A I could, I could draw down a couple of different orders Couldn't I? I could put any of the first three letters in On the first one Couldn't I? I could choose P E R A to go first. What could I choose to go second? Two of them. And the third one? One. I could use P E A. I could use P A E. I could use, uh, what's it? A E P. A P E. We could use, uh, what's the last two? E A P or E P A. That's six different ways of doing it, isn't it? So I think if we get our last answer and multiply it by six. Because the probability is always going to be the same no matter what order it's in, isn't that right? So imagine that's that's PEA. Imagine I do uh, EPA as an example. That changes to one and eight. Uh, your P is still three out of seven. And what would be the other one? Uh, what I'm looking for, A. A is still two out of six. We still get one out of 56 every single time. Well, how many different possibilities is there? Six. So multiply six by five out of one out of 56, and what do we get? Six out of 56, otherwise known as? Huh? Three over 28. All right. Next question. Three letters drawn do not include E or P. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything about the order being, the order doesn't seem to matter for this one. So it just says draw three letters, no E, no P. Is that okay? So how many ways can we draw the letters again? We can draw them eight, choose, three. Now that's 56 different ways. This means APE would be the same thing as? Why are they the same thing? Huh? Any order. So they're the same thing. They're considered one. They're not considered. Two. Now let's remove E and P from the equation. Where how many E's and P's are there? Four. Let's remove all four of them. What's left over? Four choose three. And what's four choose three? Huh? So it's gonna be four out of fifty six, which is one out of fourteen. Done. Now next one. Uh, three letters drawn are either all consonants or all vowels. Ooh, okay. All consonants or all vowels. So, by the way, when I'm writing C here, I mean consonant, consonant, consonant. And when I write V, I mean vowel, vowel, vowel. Is that okay? Now let's think about this. How many different uh, 
How many different constants can there be? Five. Five of them choose? Three. How many different vowels? Three choose three. Okay, how many in total then? Eleven. That's eleven out of fifty-six.